Just Beer Reviews, Coat and Co. Okay, today we're going to uh, review Colt and Cold. Now, if anyone's uh, seen the update, look at that can design, it's totally changed. Um, what they've done is uh, Colt and Cold was a bastard case, I reckon, my own opinion to the Colt United brands. And what they've done, they've dropped it to four, from 4% 4 down to 3.5 and made it a mid strength beer here in Australia. Apparently, the word is that they're spending five million dollars on a marketing push. So again, we see heaps of commercials for Colt and Cole. They've really, uh, well, Sad Miller, who now owns Cole United, have really, uh, yeah, trying to get another mid-strength beer in the market to go with the Colt mid and their uh, their VB gold. So they're trying to flood the market with these mid-strength beers, and the strength will hold. Um, also, something that is very common in America. Um, with the cold indicator, I think Molson's have it, Molson's of course, they have the cold indicator, and that's what to say here, in the, the super cold when the lines turn blue, so those lines there turn blue, it's uh, it's super cold, so that's something they've brought from their uh, overseas business, and now they're putting it into the Australian market. Um, you look at it, the can does look more drinkable, uh, like I never reviewed the old one because uh, personally, I, uh, I wouldn't say anything really nice about it, and uh, it, it's pretty much rubbish. But hopefully, we'll see what the rebrand's like. It's gonna be really interesting. So uh, let's crack it open. Pick this up for um, two dollars at a bottle shop. Um, I had them in the ice for two bucks. So yep, too easy. I'll grab one. And um, also, Squill and Grog. I just got back the wee hours this morning. I travelled up north to um, celebrate Swillingrog's birthday. So if you see Swillingrog will comment on his videos. Uh, he had a birthday, he turned a big four row, so um, and uh, it was a great party. Good great birthday bash and um, we all uh, we all got to have a beer together and it was a fantastic day and uh, uh, what what more could I say? It was a great time and uh, so yeah we'll have to do it again down the track. But uh, back onto his beer um, yeah, it's pretty much pretty carbonated. Looks a bit like uh, looks like cold mid. That's all I could say. Yeah, you got nearly two finger of uh, this glass makes a real creamy head. Just the way it's shaped, it just the head's always creamy. And it does look creamy. So uh, the smell, yeah, it smells um, beery, adjunct. Um, nothing too offensive though. It's not. It's no uh, rivet lager from Aldi. That's for sure. Anyway, smells like beer. Um, let's drink beer. Cheers, you all. Okay, it's a lot lighter in flavour. I suppose allowing the uh, ABV is taken away. Obviously, they change they change the uh, they change the recipe because it. It doesn't taste like it used to. It's it's probably reminds me of something like a uh, a great Northern Lager. It's um, it's got some malt sweetness and you know the the typical uh, watery body. Watery body. Um, not as dry as I'm gonna be drier than that, but. Bit of a wet mouthfeel to it. Also, it's uh, the the flavour is somewhat subdued. It is easier, it is better to drink than the original one. It's um, nowhere as harsh. Bitterness is low. Sweetness is picking up. It is somewhat refreshing. I'll give it that. It is refreshing for its uh, for what it is. I will say that cold meat is a superior beer. I uh, I don't mind old cold meat. I, it's if I have mid strength beers, I normally sway cold meat, especially on tap. Uh, I, 
cold and cold, it's this is interesting. It's you know, you, it's got a watery body. It's it's more like a you, you, if you watch this channel, I they anyway, I can really describe it as the beer soda water flavour to it. It's like it's um it's like it's lacking something. But you know, it, it's drinkable and someone gave you candy to drink it. Well, I'm drinking it pretty quick, it's just like drinking water at the moment, but It's not too bad. I think it's a bit below cult mid, personally, but it's not as funky as it used to be. The original four percent one, you wouldn't want to session that because I tell you, you'd be, you'd be crooked the next day. Oh, I don't for me. Uh, oh, shit. Five year ago, six year ago, I think it might have been stronger back then. Cult and cold, and I had a session on it. Um. I actually made a mistake of drinking port, uh, a couple of mouthfuls of that, and nah, it wasn't nice to tell you. Kind of team of cold, cold for a long time, but this is a different beer. It's, it's all right. It's a for mid strength. It's a little bit below the others. So uh, score for wrap it up. Cold and cold. It's a pretty solid beer. I'll give it a B minus. It's a bit below cold and mid, but it's all right. It's an improvement, and it's a mid strength beer. I think a lot of people drink it, it's a, just a very simple flavour and uh, heck, people drink Corona in a bottle like it's going out of fashion so I'm pretty sure they're going to drink cold and cold, so uh, yep big cheers, he's all out there um, yeah, it's worth a try if you see it but um, there's going to be a lot of commercials on TV for this beer apparently for the, that's what the big fellas had the advantage they got the money for marketing, so uh, yep, I'll uh, cheers you all and I'll uh, catch you all later